I want to see my son. Oh, my heart is. What have I done to myself? <laughs> Can you see what the Lord has done? Amen. <laughs> we thank God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. To God. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> hey. Oh God, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Father God, we bless your name. Yes, Lord. We thank you for this pregnancy. Yes, Lord. We thank you for fetal womb. Yes, Lord. We thank you for fertility. Amen. God, where all night. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pray that this baby will be born healthy. Amen. This baby will grow up to your glory. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> God is good. All the time. Ah, this calls for celebration. Oh. <laughs> and as you know, I'm terrible at celebrating. <laughs> As the woman's leader in church, you are, you were always doing the celebration. I didn't know what to do. I, I follow you. Lead the way. <laughs> I'm behind you. <laughs> <laughs> so, this time around, you're going to give me a baby girl, right? No. I want another boy. Stop it. Stop it, please. <laughs> we need a girl. You already have a boy. So if we get a girl, and it's equal. And besides, we, we need a girl that can sing. Sing to the glory of God. A girl that can sing those high pitches like Sister Annabella. Mm. You know? Mm. Mm. That lady is gifted she can sing. oh my goodness she's good when she sings everyone falls under the anointing mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh! she's gifted she's so good god is using her I'm to save you. a lot of souls he's using her mm. well well but i still want a boy look before you have 
thought I have thought it. <laughs> it's a girl now. Is it not the man that determines the sex of the baby? Says who? Says the scientist. Well, spiritually, I have seen my baby. It's going to be a boy. Okay. We shall see. <laughs> I have prayed. I am the pastor. <laughs> you are the pastor's wife. <laughs> Second in command. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you now. <laughs> the world has rejected me. They mock me. They say all manner of evil things against me. God, when will you forgive me my sins and take me back? into your arms again when will i set my eyes my on son. my family Oh, 
see that your mommy is not feeling better. Okay. What kind of cold is this? So. Oh. What kind of sudden cold is this? Even under this sun, so no. Please, why don't you go down to that chemist down there and get some drugs? I'm sure by the time you take the drugs, you'll be fine. Okay. 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 You will be fine, yeah? You can see your mom is not Well, let me take the phone. Okay. Let me try and go and buy the medicine. Look after my after my corn and my baby, oh. oh. What more small though, yeah? Ndo, 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 ndo. You can see your mom is not feeling fine. Ndo, 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 yeah. Okay, my friend and my brother. The Kobu, the lion himself, is dead. Oh, that, that, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Your mom is coming, yeah? Let's check our corn. Our corn is burning. Mom is coming, yeah? Let me find it. Mommy is coming, yeah? She wants to get some drugs. Do you want fun? Do you want fun? Hey, do, do, do. Madam, ah, ah, hello. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, I beg go. Hey, madam, I beg go. I'm not a beggar. But I'm robbers attacked me and took my last money. And I'm very hungry. Please, if you could just give me one coin, God will bless you. Even if if not half, I go, I go hold up. Please. I'm very hungry. Oh God, sorry, oh. Uh, sorry, sorry for the money you the arm driver took away from you. Uh, you can come and sit down. Yeah? Happy? Yes, come and sit down. I will give you for. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Thank you, madam. Thank you. God bless you. It's God okay. Bless you. It's okay for you. Hey, sorry. Hey, do you be eh? Oh God, oh, the business is not mine, but I will pray for the call. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. God will bless you in a hundredfold. You will be blessed. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Okay. This one is a customer call. You have to wait. Let me roast this one. Oh, yeah. Wala. I can wait. I'm not going anywhere now. Okay. Oh, baby, baby, it's okay now. It's okay. Shh. It's okay. Can I find it for you? Let me find it for you. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Hey, so sorry. Hey. 
Uh, so all this one is for me? Yes, okay. yes. If you give me half, I will take half. It's no problem, you can't eat. Okay. Madam, thank you. Okay. Hey. What are you doing here? What are, what are you doing here? 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 It's okay. It's okay. Yet, woman. My husband, you know with deep down you that what you are doing is not right. You are a shepherd for crying out loud. You have to go out there, look for that one lost sheep, and throw it back to his rest. That is the only way you can move on and have peace. That is the only way. God knows I will always go out for any of my lost sheep. Not about the rascal that you are talking about. Now listen. Let me be a bad pastor. A hypocrite. Yes. Now let me ask you. Have you asked yourself the whereabouts of Angela and her children? Have you asked about the woman we all went to the village and married for that rascal that called himself a pastor. Continue to think about him. Why I worry about Angela and her children. And you call yourself a pastor. I know you don't even have peace with your conscience. You are pretending like you are happy. I know you were not. Oh Lord, have mercy. I don't even know what to do. I'm so helpless. <laughs> Jesus, please save my family. My dear, he was here last month. It wasn't a good tell at all. Before he could say anything, my husband walked him out of the house. He was a shadow of himself. But um, was he able to tell you anything? I mean, where he lives or drop a contact? Did you get anything from him, please? Not at all. My husband is still very bitter with him. He could not even allow him to speak. But you know what? I have been looking for him. And I'm also asking that we should not relent in looking for him. We won't.
I commission you as a pastor. What I don't understand is you not confining in me, even though the DNA shows that you are not a father of a child. The Holy Spirit keeps telling me that your wife is innocent. I don't know why you did not come to me first and talk to me as father and son. You decided to take everyone on our way. I made a post on Pastor's Forum that you are no longer with your wife, Angela. Pastor Israel, you went too far. You degraded us as a family. Yes, you did. We cannot tell you what to do. But for the fact that we went with you to Angela's family to marry Angela, you should have spoken to us. You should have come to me in particular to tell me your findings, the things you heard about Angela before going the way you went about it. That was wrong. There's a way we handle such a situation as a body of Christ, especially the pastors that pastor churches. I beg of you, please allow the church, the Association of Pentecostal Pastors, to dwell on this matter. Please. Are you done? Are both of you done with what you're saying? <clears throat> well, I don't think I'm going to come to this house again. This will probably be my very last day to step foot in here. As it is, I don't need anyone to reshape what I'm thinking, to reorient my mind, because my mind is made up. I simply came to tell you that I am going to get married to somebody else, to another lady. Yes, I'm a pastor. I cannot remain single. A profound pastor at that. So you cannot change my mind. Whatever I say and that I'm saying now, it's final. I saw you. You can see your father now. I saw you. Just look at your father's face and see your father kneels down for you. I beg of you, do not humiliate me. Please don't embarrass me. Allow me to pray over this. Please do not divorce your wife, Angela. I beg you in the name of the Most High God. Pastor Israel, our names will be in the mud. The association will blame us for everything, for not being able to handle this issue. Please, can you allow us to look into this matter and settle it amicably? Please, just give us a little time to fix this. Don't take it, don't, don't go this way you're about to go, please. Look, I think uh, my time here is done. Okay. What? Pastor Israel. Both of you can continue kneeling down. I'm out of here. Pastor Israel. You are leaving us? No, no, no. As to Israel, the Holy Spirit is against what you are about to do. You are going astray. I will be punished by God for God's sake. I will be blamed for it. Why are you this carnal in a perilous moment? Now, can't you go to God and ask Him for divine direction? Can you imagine? 
you are rushing to inject your own flesh and blood. This lady is presenting herself in the realm of the supernatural as pure innocent. Pastor Israel, why are you blindfolded? Ah, there you are. <laughs> Please meet my wife to be, my fiancee, Annabella. Good evening, Papa. Lord of Jesus. This is a chorister in your church. A gospel singer. Sister Annabella here is my daughter as well. I'm glad you know her that well. Because the Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, this is going to be my wife. That this is the true love I need in my life. That she should be by my side. So from today, I don't want to hear any word from you about my ex. Do not lie against the Holy Spirit. Um, because you will dearly regret it. Honey, am I interrupting anything? I think I should. Stay there, stay there. Okay. Uh, uh, Papa, in the absence of anything else, I guess this conversation is over. Please. You are asking me to leave your office? What are you still waiting for? I see a gallow. And inside the gallow is a big serpent. The gallow is desperately want to destroy you. That gallow will destroy you. Because you don't see more than I see. You don't prophesy more than I prophesy. You don't heal the sick like I do. The spirit is not speaking to you like it speaks to me. So what are you talking about, Papa? What? I will be praying for you. No, don't pray for me. <laughs> don't pray for me. Pray for you and your church members. Because your church needs to grow. I have already risen. My church is huge. God speaks to me. Don't add me to your prayer points. I don't need it. See you soon. Oh, please leave my office now. Baby! Stay out of this. You are going to be short of grace. Can you just leave? Pastor Israel, you are asking me out of your office? Yes, leave. What nonsense! So wasn't it all you allowed the Papa, a man who ordained you into the ministry, to kneel down and beg you? What did you do? You walked out on them, he and his wife. You are doomed. You are doomed. Pastor Israel, please. It was the work of the devil. I need your help, please. The work of the devil. The devil has not started using you yet, Pastor Israel. If you were to be ordinary church member, it would have been preferable. You suddenly remembered me? After turning your church into a clubhouse. Really? I didn't turn the church into a clubhouse. Somebody else did. I have been in coma for months. Pastor Latos, please. I know I did wrong. Look, I almost died. If it wasn't for the grace of God, that the angels actually brought me back, 
bring life into me again. I'm a Christian today. I just need a favor from you. I, I need help. See, see, see. Pastor Israel, you need to tell those angels that you need to die. You really need to die so that you rest well, okay? Because I, Pastor Lazarus Johnson, will never ever beg Papa on your behalf. We begged you. We begged you to have your own thing. What did you do? You turned your back on us. You bluntly turned your back on us. Pastor Israel, do you know what is good for you? Get out of this place. Are you listening to me? Get out of here! I don't want to come out here and meet you here. She's an agent sent by devil to shut my praise. I be your servant, oh, don't turn your back on me, oh. I'm debted to you. I be your servant, oh, don't let me remain in shame. I look up to you, Jingle. Oh, Lord, help me. Help me. Save me. Rest all my life. Run my rage has ruled my life. Oh, oh Lord, help me. Help me. Set me. Set me. Rest all my life. What are you doing here? <laughs> Christian, what do you want? Just calm, calm down. Please, calm down. Eh? See, I'm seeing everything. I know that my brother's wife has been giving you a real tough time. Just calm down. See, I beg you. I keep pleading with you. Just give me this thing just once. Eh? Just give me just once. I promise you, I will protect you from her venom. Please. Eh? You see, that, that woman is me, you no. Know? And she's planning you. If you don't know, know it now. She's planning you. Leave my room. Oh, see. Chris, leave my room. I think it is high time I told your brother your incessant disrespect and madness. You're not even in any way close to my younger brother. 
just a little boy like you because you meet me here and then you think you can you can talk to me, come up to me to tell me to what open my legs for you? A little riffraff? Chris, do you know who I am and my past? You are even in no way close to my domestic staff. You are nothing to them. Red and <laughs> How dare you? Eh? Who are you? I want to know who you are. Who are you? Look at this foolish psychic. You dare raise your hand on me? Try it next time. Talk to me anyhow. Choose your words before you talk to me. I understand that this country is very wavy at this point in time. And I do not want any of my domestic staff complaining of not having enough money to take care of themselves and their families. That being said, I would be increasing your salaries from 20,000 naira to 50,000 naira. It's a lie, ma. Hey! What are you doing with me? And his only son, Obina, went to the city to look for his elder sister, Joma. <sighs> so sorry. We are deeply sorry about the loss. We thought Angela is in the village. All her fault we made to get to her through the phone was not going through. And... Uh, she did not even show up in our house or even our church. Mm, I don't know. You know, my brother disowned her and threw her out of the house because of the accusation the husband leveled against her. False accusations? Yes. He lied against her. How did you people find out? A couple of months back. He came back a couple of months ago and he confessed that everything was lies. Jesus Christ. Was all lies. My Lord and my Savior. What? Yes. 
my brother out of depression, fell sick. And weeks later, he died out of stroke. This is serious. How did the devil took a chunk of Pastor Israel's flesh like this? How? He confessed. That was what my brother said. But there was a medical evidence proving that Pastor Israel is not the owner of the pregnancy, which have proven beyond every reasonable doubt that he was saying the truth. <sighs> he even flooded the results in all our platform stating the same thing. It's about two, three or thereabouts of the same results. Even in our church, a doctor passed around the same test. He came out the same results. That Angela is carrying another man's child. But the question here is, how come he is confessing? I don't know. That was what my brother Ukoko told me. And he asked me to tell Choma to forgive him. <sighs> I really don't think our in-law is in any way doing damage control. But the only person Jesus. who can give you a true story about this is my late brother's son, Obina. But he's not around. Frank is calling me. Huh? My husband. My husband is calling you in my bedroom. And you came. It, it was Chris who said that, that Dr. Frank was calling me. So I... You are such a dirty liar. You are such a liar! No. Eh? So now you're using Chris to cover up. Eh? Christian is now your backup. No, no, no. I'm not lying, man. Okay, let me just go. Man. Come back here! Come back! Happening in my house. This is how this girl keeps sneaking in and out when I'm not around. Hey! Frank! Frank! This girl must leave this house today. She must leave this house today. <laughs> it's not possible. Eh? Wow! My husband is calling you. to go to now? Where would you stay? Nowhere. I don't have anywhere to go. I was planning to rent a small house. That was my plan. It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. Give me some days. Let me shuffle something for you. So you could get yourself a conducive apartment. Forget anything my wife did to you, okay? It's a lie. It's a very big lie. Eh? You're not leaving this house. You're not leaving this house. Frank, so this is your plan. Eh? You want to give her money to go and look for a place to stay, eh? So you can be visiting her whenever you want. It's not going to work. You bought a bunch of liars and your plan will fail. Yes! You're not going anywhere. You're going to stay in this house where I can monitor you back to back. Doris. Doris, what is the problem? Huh. Hey, what is the problem? Please, give this young woman some peace of mind. She needs it. Mm -hmm. This woman was in our bedroom today. Looking for you. Why? Why was she looking for you? Sir, Christian came and called me. He said he needed me urgently in your room. And when I got there, you weren't there. That was when I realized he set me up. Christian, my brother? Big lies. Bunch of lies from the pit of hell. You are a big liar. Frank Christian has not been in the house since morning. So it's obvious that she's lying. Sir, please let me just go so that peace will reign in your house. Eh? Peace. 
Which peace? I don't want peace, oh. I want this war to reign. War will reign in this house. She, you have come to stay. You're not going anywhere. You're not going to leave this house. You want to get an apartment. I can be calling my husband on the phone. And you, you sneak out and go and see her. It's not possible. Eh? You will stay in this house. You're not leaving this house. You're going to remain here so I can monitor you again and again. You, Frank, come and meet me in the room. It is just the beginning. We have not started. Frank! Hey, hey! Are you sure this is what you want? Yes, sir. Just let me go. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, just calm down, okay? Calm down. Calm down. I'll fix it. I will fix it. Forget whatever my wife did to you, okay? I'll fix it. No, sir. Stay here, let me go and come back. No, don't worry, let me go. No. no. Angela, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> I am still the head of my house and not my wife. Calm down. Crystal, did you by your mission tell Angela that I was calling her? <laughs> Brother, that girl is lying to you. She's lying, no? Oh. Ha. Oh, have you seen? Eh? <laughs> how will I how will I tell her that you were calling her? Eh? For what one? How? See, that, that, that girl is a pathetic liar. I'm telling you, brother. Have you heard it? Frank, have you heard it? I have been telling you. But you don't want to believe me. Frank, I don't understand what you have with that woman. I don't understand what is going on. Same here. Uh-uh. What is this? Hmm. Frank! She's, she's lying. I know. I know. Eh? Homewrecker. She wants to come and destroy my house. <laughs> it's not possible. Oga is a lie. Oga will lie in a lie. Chris is a devil. It's a devil in this house. Will lie. That is how he used to do. Oga, last time will lie. I caught Chris. He was trying to climb my mom baby. In this house, will lie. Even when I catch him, will lie. Oga, if I tell you what I did to him, you will surprise. I give him better blow at Piska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's abundant. Will lie in a devil. What do you mean? Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Usman. Yoga. Were you the one that gave him that bruise on his face? Oga. It's me. Oga, it's me. Ama, what Chris is doing in this house is not normal. It's not normal. So I, I know it's your brother. Ama, I'm, I'm sorry, Oga. Oga, I'm sorry. Kristen? Oga, stop calling him Christian. One man is not a Christian. He's not even a Christian. That one is a pagan. He's a pagan. If that one is a Christian, well, he won't be doing what he's doing, Oga. Oga, immediately I, 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 I catch him that day with uh, trying to do that thing with uh, my mom baby. If I tell you, he gave me 10,000 naira that I should not tell anybody in this house. But Oga, you know you have been good to me. I cannot hide that kind of thing as a good person that I am. So I said, I must tell you. If I don't tell you, that means I have cheated you, Oga. That guy is not a, he's not a good person. He's not a Christian. He's a pagan. Oga, that one, pagan. I can't call him Christian. If I call him Christian, it's a bad thing. Idiot in one like He's an idiot. Christian! He's an idiot. Christian! Oga, kill him one like he's shaking him. Please, Oga, don't, don't forget to kill that boy. For sure you have to stop. Christian! Sir? Christian! I give you 24 hours to pack your things and leave my house. So you wanted to rape a woman I kept in my house for safety? Why? What's wrong with you? Have you gone mad? What is going on here? Auntie Dor? Brother? What is going on here? Me? I wanted to rape her. A breastfeeding mother. Eh? I didn't see all those girls that their breasts are still standing. Standalele, standalele. It can't be person where don't the breastfeed picking where the breasts don't fall. What is going on here? I don't understand. I don't understand what is going on, no. eh? Are you trying to change the topic or what? Is this what we are discussing now, eh? So, Usman was responsible for the bruise on your face the day you tried to rape that girl. <laughs> Kristen, this was how you raped our sister's maid and you denied it. Are you under a spell? Emegeme? What's wrong with you? But I, I'm now a rapist. Sure. Eh? But, but I told you it was just an accident. 
And who's okay? Now I know. So it has been Usman. Eh? Usman! Shut up! Shut up! Dare you! How dare you! First thing tomorrow morning, you're leaving my house. Pack your things and go back to the village where you belong. I am not your only brother. Chima is still there. Go and stay with Chima. Let him accommodate you. Accommodate your insolence. Accommodate your nonsense. Will I die for you? How can you be raping somebody I kept in my house? This is what the government. I, I, I should leave this house. Young hey, uh, brother, I should leave this house. Of course. Leave him faith mission. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. L leave where? Leave my brother's house. My own brother's house. To, to where? Ha. Youth Township. I support eh? you. You're not leaving this house. Ha. You're going to stay here. It is your brother's house. You're here. Hey, woman. I am still the head of this house. Whatever I say, stand. You don't challenge my orders. You don't. And you. Pack your filthy things and leave my house. I don't want to see you again. I've tolerated enough of your, your, your nonsense. Frank, it's a lie, yo. It is a big lie. Chris is not going anywhere. He's not going to leave this house. You want to chase your own flesh and blood. Your flesh and blood, eh, Frank? Because of a woman, a home wrecker, a husband snatcher. It's not possible. You're leaving this house. You're not going anywhere. You want to turn again? Chris, Frank, you're not.
know the man. You mean you don't know the former owner of this house? I don't know. I don't know if your girl can have any concrete um, information that I can use to locate my sister and her son. My Oga does not even know the man you are talking about. See, eh? everything was handled by one lawyer with one woman and one fair man like that. But not with your description. I don't think my Oga really knows the person you are talking about. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for the information you've given to me. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, no Child's diapers, let in my compound. Sorry, ma, where? Where? You're asking me. 